This is Abu Dhabi. I've got a budget of $80 to explore the city of Abu Dhabi. Today I'm eating some unique food. What do you think? Mm. Ah. Visiting the Louvre Abu Dhabi and even getting to meet a local Emirati who shares what life is like here. But there is a very nature aspect to Abu Dhabi. So I can really enjoy nature in the heart of this city. Abu Dhabi is the capital of the United Arab Emirates or known as UAE. You may know UAE because of Dubai. I mean, some people think Dubai is actually a country itself. But but that's not true. Abu Dhabi is the capital of the UAE and quickly becoming a hub for arts and culture. Today I'm discovering unique food and beautiful scenery. I want to see how far $80 will go in a place that many think is very expensive. I'm not a big breakfast guy so I'll skip breakfast and I'm going to do something that you absolutely cannot miss here. But first I take a taxi to start the day and the price of the ride is $10. Next I arrive to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. So even though the mosque is over there to enter you have to come all the way over here and then there's going to be an underground pathway that takes me into the Grand Mosque. This is all to respect the tradition so for men you're not allowed to wear shorts and women should be dressed modestly. And of course the price to enter is free. The architecture here is absolutely stunning and anyone is welcome to go inside so long as you are dressed modestly. This means no shorts for guys. The mosque has 82 domes in total and much of the interior is inspired by Moroccan art. One of my favorite parts is this beautiful rug from Iran. It's the world's largest Persian rug, measuring more than 5,000 square meters, and it took two years to complete. This mosque experience is so beautiful, and I honestly highly recommend coming because I've really never seen anything like it from the architecture to the chandeliers and everything else. Next, I walk around the Corniche to enjoy the beautiful weather and nice breeze. The price to explore? Free. The weather here is really nice between October till May, so it feels nice to be outside right now. Abu Dhabi is famous for its luxurious restaurants and luxury malls, but I really want to explore and see a less developed part of the city. So it's almost 1 p.m., so I head to this fish market. It has a cool vibe to it, and it's cool to see so much fish that is brought in every day. And it's really convenient because once you pick your fish over here, you can come here to the cleaning section where they will actually prepare and clean the fish for you to take it home to cook. I find this restaurant that's connected to the market. I'm going to try a restaurant here in the fish market because I assume the fish is fresh. The UAE is pretty famous for its seafood, so I decide to give it a try here. The owner is super friendly and greets me and helps me choose the best thing on the menu. He assures me that all the fish is caught that morning and he recommends shears fish which is famous here and it's served here with Egyptian rice. This is a very meaty fish. The rice complements the fish really really nicely and you can definitely tell that this is fresh fish. This was definitely caught this morning. Ooh that has a nice spice to it. A bit spicy but a good kick. Just some tahini and these breaded chips are delicious. The lunch is delicious and very fresh and the price is $12. Now it's time for my next activity. Here to get around you can either use Uber or the local version of ride hailing which is called Kareem. I ordered a car and I take it to get to the Louvre Abu Dhabi. The price is $9. The Louvre Abu Dhabi is unlike anything I've seen. The price to enter, $17. I originally came to Abu Dhabi 10 years ago and was hearing about the construction of the Louvre. I was always curious to know why it's called the same thing as the Louvre in Paris. Well, it turns out that under an agreement between the UAE and France, it allows the Louvre's name to be used here until 2037. And they even describe the Louvre Abu Dhabi as France's largest cultural project abroad. This painting, for example, St. John the Baptist was shipped from the Louvre in Paris to the Louvre Abu Dhabi, and it will be exhibited here for a couple of years before it goes back to France. The Louvre Abu Dhabi has 55 buildings, and 23 are just for galleries, which were inspired by the region's low-lying homes, and gives sort of a floating effect. The idea of this is to honor Abu Dhabi's 7,000-year history and showcase the heritage of cultural traditions of the Emirates. You're probably noticing a lot of water, and that's because Abu Dhabi is made up of over 200 islands. Its population is 1.5 million people, and many of the islands are slowly becoming known for different things. So for example, you have the Culture and Arts Island, and then you have Yas Island, which is known to be like the entertainment island, which has amusement parks. A local Emirati who you'll meet soon for dinner recommended to me to visit the mangroves. The price to enter, $4. This is actually so beautiful. I've really never seen anything like that, and I'm quite shocked to discover this in Abu Dhabi right now. It's a really unique experience to see trees coming out of water right now. I've never seen anything like it. I heard that the sunset is the best time to come here to see the water and sure enough the lighting 
is really amazing. I'm so glad I rushed before the sunset because this is so beautiful so I can really enjoy nature in the heart of this city. Okay, it's getting dark and I am hungry since it's been a while since I ate lunch. This is Noof. She's a local Emirati who was born and raised here in Abu Dhabi. She takes me to this well-known Emirati restaurant located in Yas Mall. The restaurant pays homage to the traditional vibe of an Emirati home and the menu is huge. I'll show you the price of each item but tell you the price per person later. So we're definitely gonna get Hedis. Oh, bad news, only available on the weekend. What? I came all the way for the Hedis and this We'll is come back and film on Friday. <laughs> Ragag bread. The dough is made using only three ingredients. Flour, water, and salt. Sambusa. An appetizer of sambusas, $7. The main difference between sambusa and samosa are their fillings. See, sambusa are filled with a meat and onion mixture, while samosa are a vegetarian offering that's filled with potatoes and peas. And also, usually sambusa aren't served with a sauce. For my drink, I order Vimto. This is a bright purple sugary brew, and it's quite commonly consumed during Ramadan. The price, $3. That is really good. It has a really rich flavor and uh, definitely tastes really nice. It's like the most popular drink in Ramadan. Really? Yeah, most people drink it only in Ramadan. Oh, really? So yeah. I'm out of season right uh, now. Out of season, exactly. <laughs> Chicken majbus. Okay, the term majbus or kapsa actually means pressed in Arabic. Majbus di ay. $15. This is a delicious dish and the meat is cooked with the rice in order to get more even flavor. Tharid is another popular dish, especially for Muslims during Ramadan. It's basically a crispy flatbread that's layered with meat soup. Tharid with chicken, $15. Okay, so this is what we call al-gaymat and it's something you, you, and you cannot miss if you're in the UAE. One of the best desserts. You take it like this, usually there'll be a wooden stick. The price? Seven dollars. Mm. Favorite things to do in Abu Dhabi. Favorite things to do in Abu Dhabi. Oh, we have to go to the Mangaroos Walk. You know, did that today. It was so beautiful. <laughs> People don't assume nature mm -hmm. to the city, but there is a very nature aspect to Abu Dhabi. Yeah. And we have mangrove trees that are very scarce in the world, and we're lucky to have it here in Abu Dhabi. What's beautiful about Abu Dhabi? That's it's like a bunch of islands, you know. And each island has its own theme. So if you go to Saadiyat Island, it's the cultural hub. Go to Yas Island, where we are right now. It's the entertainment island. Ferrari World, Warner Bros, Yas Water World, Sea World, you know? Anything that has to do with entertainment is on this island. After a delicious but very filling dinner with Noof, it's time for me to head back to my hotel and sleep because I did a lot today. And I also accomplished my goal of sticking within my $80 budget. But let me know what you think. What was your favorite part of the day? And check out more of my videos like $100 Day in New York, $100 Day in Dubai, and $50 Day in Singapore. Don't forget to subscribe and follow, and also find me at Upton.